So, in the first game, when you kill your party members, these are actually some of the moves that you unlock. And you see that we now have that. And then this is now a lot easier to use at this stage. And it also gets everyone. And we can even have, you know, Devil Flame and Invulnerability, but that's a big sap on your resources. Oh, and everyone's nippy. Seth Roberts is well trained. But yeah, so they... they you would do, you know, three playthroughs, and then theoretically you would do six playthroughs. Uh, yeah, let's go with this. I almost, I so rarely actually use the combo and stuff just because, like, I kind of just need to hold on to, like, I need to maintain control of myself, and the easiest way to do that is just to do a bunch of safe little slashes. And if I really need to do some damage, I usually like switching to Hachi. At least in this game. Oh shit, right. Forgot that's how that worked. Good old Castlevania stair logic. I mean, that's forever. That's that's eternal. Yeah, you have this thing where they want to keep you interested. Whoops. They have this thing where they want to keep you interested. Oops. Oh, come on. But now that they can't give you more party members. Oh, the dog escaped. Now that they can't give you more party members, um, they have to do something in order to keep the gameplay livened. Ooh, that's just bad timing. Ooh, that's just bad. Uh, yeah, they have to do something to keep the gameplay live. So they give you Zangatsu's moves from when you, you know, were doing a genocide play game. So some people never even saw those. Yeah, I certainly think it's interesting, but it's a... There's this very specific thing with it. Um, because like I was saying, in the first game, you were kind of expected to do three playthroughs, and maybe six. Because, you know, you would do it on easy mode, hard mode, normal mode. Or not easy, just easy and hard, rather. Yeah. Got it. That would be hard. Uh, but yeah, you do a playthrough on easy and a playthrough on hard. And then, um... Theoretically, you would do another playthrough that's evil on easy and hard. And then another one. And that would be how you would... you know, get your money's worth out of it. Because it was a very short game. But the thing is, because it had so much replayability and so much stuff in it, that's fine. The thing is, is that replayability means a lot more when it's a player's choice, you know? When you're saying, I want to see what happens if I hit the sword button when I'm talking to these people, then I have the freedom to do that. But in this game, instead, storyline things will happen. Um, and you will just be given... How do I... They, they will just give you new characters to play as. Um, and it's... Oh. Right. That's a kill. 
It's a little more... It's not as good. Um, and that's unfortunate, because the first game is really solid. another thing about Hachi, because, like, it's definitely cool that he can just armor up and face tank through everything. Damn, so close. Oh, God. It's happening. It is certainly cool that he can do this, but it is a little... It makes the game maybe too easy. Well. Alright. Yeah, I do think that Hachi does make it a little too easy sometimes. Now, I will say, I am playing on easy mode. Uh, so obviously my you know, suggestion should be taken with a grain of salt because it doesn't affect the main game's difficulty that Hachi makes easy mode easy and that's really what we should be playing for and in fact it's you know what is the preferred play it's just that you know gotta record this The one thing that is cool is that it's actually possible to kill some of your party members in the original game too. Damn. Clean my clock. And what that means is that you'll have a, uh... You know, you'll have a halfway full party. Okay. I forget what the name of these guys are in Castlevania. I want to say it's like Skullman, Skullman, Skullman Yon. But I also think that it's uh, mistranslated and that it's supposed to be like Skarmillione. Maybe it's like Skull Millions. Big money bag. So when you're playing this with the intended difficulty and you're going through on hard mode and you know you get knocked back every hit. You know, I do feel like it has a lot a little more to say on. Um, but you know, when, when you have a lot more player choice going into those things, you know, I, the player, say, I would like to play this game on a harder difficulty. You know, I, the player, say, I would like to kill my party members. Um, what? Lava still kills me when I'm invincible? Well, that ain't good.
<laughs> that was a, uh... That was a little embarrassing. I got so baited by the, the heart upgrade that I was like, ooh, look at this. I went right up there. Played right into its trap. Is that now I have more stuff. So I can just throw myself into it. Also, yeah, it looks like Hachi's stuff is not <laughs> making him immune to everything. Alright. Resetting. Just because I think I need Dominique. But yeah, um... I don't know why, but... Duh. Stupid, honestly. Though I guess when I originally got there, I did not have Dominique. So. I still got baited pretty hard. Though. And that's my own fault. But that's okay. See, I don't really... I'm not as, as fond of this game as I am of either other Bloodstained game. And here's the other thing. The original Curse of the Moon game was built to be a prequel to Bloodstained Ritual of the Night. Because it's like, oh, this is the, you know, the, the joke almost is that Ritual of the Night is the PS1 game that never came out. Um, and then, like, obviously, because it's a PS1 game, it should have been uh, preceded by a NES game. That's a mode 7 stuff. That's not a... That's not a filter. Get out of the water. You fools. Um, yeah, like they should be in canon with one another, right? That's what I would have thought. But as it happens, stuff that happens in Bloodstained Curse of the Moon ends up not making sense if you do treat it like it's a a prequel to Ritual of the Night. Which is kind of weird, right? You would think that, like, the one thing that this game should be is still in canon. You know, that should be pretty important, I would say. Wasn't thinking that. Listen to my own voice too much. All right. But yeah, and then this game ends up being like completely non-canon with um uh with Bloodstained. 